Charles Barkley came on the show a couple of weeks ago and said the NBA is watered down. At uh, talent level, guys developing, uh, you know, young kids, you know, 18, 19 coming into the NBA. Here you are uh, at the end of your career right. and what you've seen. Is the NBA getting better or getting worse? Yeah, it's a lot of things that uh, players need to work on. When I was young, I, I remember working on my head fake and triple threat, passing. It's simple things like guys can't make backdoor passes. They can't anticipate when guys is going backdoor and making the pass. Golden State's really good at that, but they work at it. You know, um, screening. People don't understand how important a screen is. If you tell a young player you have to make a 1,000 good screens because there are going to be a 1,000 screens available throughout the season, every single screen is important. And these guys don't really understand that. They think you can get away without setting a good screen. Well, if you do that, you're not going to get your teammate open. And that possession is going to hurt you, you know, whether you're trying to get home court advantage. You might lose one game. And instead of having home court advantage, now you got a disadvantage. And those type of things are important. And, um, and that goes back to the fundamentals. And guys don't really put importance on that. But how frustrating is it you had a young team? Aside from you and Kobe. Right. You got a young team. But it's not just our team. It's, out, it's throughout the league. But Even, you're but you're with these guys constantly, right. and you're trying to teach them basketball. Right. You you, you got to. You got to every day tell them what's important. And it, at uh, in the beginning, it was tough because when you're a, you know a young stud, you probably think you're bigger than what you are. Then you, you humble out a little bit. Things balance out, and then they start to listen a little bit. But um, every day you got to let them know what's important. The small things are so important. The small thing is going to get you a championship. Who do you think the Lakers should draft? I don't really know who's available. I think I like the kid Don Maker. I guess he's uh, going to be oh, a superstar. Oh, the seven six kid? No, the, I think he's seven foot. Oh, oh, he's only seven the, foot. Um, yeah, Don Maker. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. He's I think the, he's like a seven foot guy. But he's really coming out of high school. He's coming out of high school. Yeah, he's probably not ready yet. But Ben Simmons. I, I hear a lot about Ben Simmons. I've seen him play once, a lefty, so I don't know yeah. much about him. But he's a point guard. He's a point guard, huh? So it, what do you do with D'Angelo Russell? Well, you know. The, Guys got to earn their spot. That's why you have 15 players and the Lakers to draft somebody. And then training camp would be a war, which would be great because it would be competitive. And then people have to earn their spot. Um, how would you rate D'Angelo Russell's rookie season? It, was, uh, it started out slow. He was basically 18 years old, just turned 19. Or he was he, he a young a young. A young you pup. got kids who are his My age. daughter's his age. <laughs> My daughter's his age. <laughs> You know, um, and he started out exactly how I expected as a point guard. You know, not at, not ready physically, but it's very strong. He posts up a lot of these NBA guards that have been in the league for years. He was posting up Beverly. He was posting up uh, Westbrook at times he tried. Ooh. Westbrook a little stronger than him, but he was posting up a lot of these veteran point guards. I'm like, wow, this kid got heart. He takes big shots. He's going to be a, a, a playoff player. He's a playoff player. What was your best moment ever against Kobe? Best moment against Kobe? It wasn't many. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't but many. But you were considered one of the great defenders. You were you were a lockdown defender. Yeah, yeah. So when you guarded Kobe. Kobe, the thing about Kobe is he never he never broke. You know, I played against a lot of other, you know, all-stars at the time. You know, run-ins for MVPs, and I was able to do what I had to do against the majority of them. What do you mean he never broke? Even if I was to stop him, three possessions, four possessions, he kept coming back. If I was to bump him, he could, he, he wanted that, that physical play. He never backed down from physical play. Not once has he backed down from me. Now, it might have been a couple times where I stopped him defensively, but he continued to come game after game, possession after possession. It was really hard guarding him. You faced Jordan when he was with the Wizards. Yeah. What was that like? Jordan was great. Jordan was physical. You know, I remember we played against each other in the summertime. Because he's at the end of his career, and right. you're, you're young. Right. Is he still talking? He, oh, he was amazing. Jordan, <laughs> he's still talking, still delivering. You know, he wasn't as fast, but he was, had a lot of heart still, could make big shots. The year he came back, he averaged 25. That year he was uh, about to retire, and he came back, he averaged 25. Who's, I mean, who's better? Out of who? Him and Kobe? <laughs> They're different players. They're so different, but uh, similar mov movements. Um, it's really hard to say. It's like 
if Jordan is better, then it's by an inch. If Kobe's better, it's only by an inch. It's oh, so you think much. it's that close? It's very close. Because if both those guys were in their prime, playing against each other, they're both giving each other 50, you know. Kobe is not going to stop Jordan, and Jordan is absolutely not going to stop Kobe. Absolutely not? He's not going to stop him. Kobe's not going to let you stop him. It's impossible. It's impossible. Mike was a good defender. Mike was great, but Kobe is amazing. You know, Jordan cannot stop Kobe. <laughs> no. Who's the who's the most unstoppable player you ever faced? Most unstoppable? Yeah, I mean. Oh, just because size? Yeah, there's nothing you can do with Yao. You have a chance against other people. If he has, if he you have no a, chance against Yao. <laughs> just because with the ball up high or what? Ball's up high. He's fundamentally sound. He's not going to bring it down. He can shoot, make free throws, make big shots, game-winning shots. You know, a great player, a great team player. Yeah. Yeah, the whole total package. When you were in China, did you know how to trash talk in Chinese? Yeah. China was weird. You know, those guys, it's a physical league. Um, especially, well, they all wanted to show that, hey, you're coming over here to our league. I'll check you. You know, I'm not afraid of you. Right, exactly. They did that. But, you know, the league is physical. If you're at home, you get all the calls. So we go on the road. <laughs> you know, you know that the other team is going to get the calls. Yeah. Yeah. So, But Marbury's become a god over there. Yeah, Marbury's doing great. Got, you go in the airport, you got Marbury uh, posters everywhere. You know, you got the Marbury shoes. You know, you got the statue in Beijing. This is great. He's making a lot of money over there. He's doing great. What are you doing next year? Next year, I think I'm going uh, to try to come back. With the Lakers? Preferably. Yeah. Nobody's told you anything? Well, it's too early to say. I'm in no rush. You know, I'm older now, so I'm patient. <laughs> yeah, now you are. <laughs> when it happens, it happens. What, what about coaching? Coaching is something I want to do. One day, I, I do want to be a head coach. One day, um, and I know I learned a lot. I have, I have a good time coaching. You know, so hopefully one day I'll be able to you know, be a head coach, you know, somewhere in college or the NBA. What's Kobe do? Kobe's great. He's a great writer, you know. So um, everybody always asks me, "What is Kobe gonna do?" He's a he's a writer, so he's creative. He has a lot of things on his mind that he's gonna be able to. He could do books, stories. He could write. He could write songs for people. You know, he could do so much if you if he puts his mind to it. You never got into a fight with him. In practice, we got into some bumps. <laughs> <laughs> me and Kobe argued a lot, <laughs> but but not where it got physical. Uh, it wasn't like. Punching physical, but it was physical. <laughs> it it, it might have well been a fight. <laughs> it could have. It could have gotten in. It could have escalated. Yeah, because we're both like stubborn. You know, he's very stubborn, and I am. And in practice, he talks, and I'm not gonna let it slide. And then before you, <laughs> before you know it, we're 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 throwing elbows in practice. It was nice. It was nice. <laughs> Who's the guy that you? Uh, who would make you nervous on the court? Tough nervous? guy. Nervous. Tough guy. <laughs> Concerned. <laughs> Concerned about what? <laughs> just, just a tough guy. Um, nobody really. I mean, um, you don't strike me as somebody who scares, but right. But on the court, I just like guys always talk about Charles Oakley. Charles Oakley scared people. Right, right. Like you right, didn't right. mess with Charles Oakley. Right. Is there anybody in the league that you go? I just always poked at people. I always wanted to. I always wanted to get the bigger guy too. Maybe you're the guy. Like you're, the, you're, you're like Charles Oakley. Yeah, maybe. You didn't want to mess with Ron, <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe. I was, um, just I, the game was, I learned from the Knicks and the Pistons. You know, these guys were aggressive. So I'm like, okay, that's how I have to play when, when I get to the league. But I didn't, didn't learn you play from that this... way? Didn't you play like. On the playground? Yeah. Yeah. You watch the game and then you go downstairs and you play exactly how the Knicks play. <laughs> Beat you each know? other up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Do and that's what carries you on. Does the malice in the palace always stay with you? I mean, I don't mind talking about it, but it's never with me. Like, every day I wake up and, you know, I do my little yoga, do my little um, like my, my little hippie routine, you know? I'm like a hood hippie, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if what? somebody wants to talk about the malice, hey, let's talk about it. But you learn from it. That's uh, Right? I mean, yeah. it taught you a lot of lessons there. The, the one lesson that taught me, oh, what I've experienced, because I don't think it taught me anything, but things could change in the blink of an eye. Yeah. I mean, I had TNT commercials, ESPN commercials, had my college junior commercials set, my LA gear campaign ready to come out. Oh, my God. And I was doing so many different things at that time, and then all in one day. I was, I was going to be in the runnings for MVP. You know, I just got off defensive player of the year. My average went up seven points, averaging 25. I know. You know, and that was a, it went from at the peak to, but one second down. 
That was that was amazing. That was pretty. Uh, that was pretty amazing. <laughs> Can you reenact? Could you lie on the my, my table here and, and I ain't gonna lie. Somebody over here gonna throw something at me. I ain't no, even gonna no, do it. I don't, See, want, him got it ready. I don't want to. I ain't even gonna do I, it. No, See? I don't want to throw. Got, I'm Paulie, <laughs> look at he had it ready, man. You can you yeah. can lie there. Paulie will throw, and you get to punch Paulie. How's that? I mean, that was that was. I mean, how can you be avoiding something and then in a second you're involved? <laughs> I'm trying to. I did everything possible to get away from that You were situation. laying down. I was trying to wait for this thing to get over with already. <laughs> My goodness. What, you, what uh, is a man to do? Hey, it's always, <laughs> it's always great to see you. Thanks, man. And I, I, and I wish it. you the best, and uh, hopefully I think there's coaching in your future. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. Hey. You think they'll let me coach in a T-shirt? Do I have to wear a damn suit? <laughs> you can wear a... <laughs> Can I wear a hat and a T-shirt on the bench? I'm going to say, well, with this new commissioner, yes. With David Stern, no. Oh, okay. So David's a good person. If you, yeah, of course. We speak a lot. You, you spent a lot of time with him, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we speak a lot. Even now, to, to this day, we always email back and forth. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. He's Meta World Peace. You can interact <laughs> with him directly. Download the free Meta slash the official app from iTunes. Check out the latest gear from the Panda's Friend. Previews, latest music. Go to metaworldpeace.com. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.